I mean, any time now, the Congress will be announcing its second list, and it's going to be very interesting. What's the ticket, and who does it? We're already seeing enough and more talk and dissent within the party, saying that uh, a lot of the loyalists within the party are not being given their due. And joining me right here, first of all, let me introduce this is Vidan Sauda, and Vidan Sauda is uh, a power center uh, built centuries ago. Kengal Hanumantaya is the man who really built it. And I have with me Shripad, if you can join me on the frame here. Shripad, uh, is almost hesitant, I've literally dragged him here to, uh, to show you right in front of uh, Vidan Sauda, uh, which was built by Kengal Hanumantaya. Basically, Shripad Denu is the grandson of Kengal Hanumantaya. He's been a party loyalist, and uh, Shripad today is very disappointed that the Congress has not given him a ticket. He's, he was an aspirant, he was a former candidate from Maleshwaram, but this time around, he pushed hard, and he, it appears that he's been disappointed, left disappointed. You know, uh, Shripad, why don't you tell our viewers, at, at a time when Sidramaya is asking for two seats from Kolar and Varuna, it's obviously pri pri privilege. People like you who worked years for the party, your grandfather has built this majestic with Ansauda, you've not been given your due this time. Madam, let's talk about me, okay? As far as I'm concerned, it was the party which asked me to stand last time when 11 days was left for the elections because another candidate had withdrawn. Mm. I, as a party loyalist, stood and did not w win, mm. which was obvious. Mm. I have worked in the constituency of the last five years. Mm. But today, I have been denied a ticket and given to a new entrant who came to the party just six months ago. Mm. And this man was introduced by one of the leaders uh, of the Congress party itself. Right. That is what I find strange about the party. It is not that they came in search of us. Mm. It is our leaders who went and brought them here mm. for no rhyme or reason. Mm. And the beauty of it is this candidate who they have declared, his uncle is still in the BJP. Mm. So, so where do they stand? A lot of disparity in your view. As much as the no, Congress they, says they, that they are not biased, uh, that they, they are giving uh, tickets to people who have really worked hard, you feel left out. More than left out, I feel cheated. I feel let down. I feel that the Congress party has not recognized the people they need to recognize. Mm. And they have this wonderful world called winnability. Mm. If winnability is all about money, and if it's only money, then why are you even having elections? Wow, why don't we make a very rich that, man in India That's the... a huge charge that you're making. No, no, it's a fact, her. madam. It's a fact. If winnability is money, then why don't we make maybe an uh, Adani or an Ambani or somebody the Prime Minister of our country? Why have this process? Let us get all the businessmen in the country yeah. and let us hold elections. So you're saying Congress is giving out tickets uh, for money, in exchange for money? I'm not saying exchange. They are, their idea of winnability is they expect the candidate to have tons of money, mm. not persons who have worked for the party. Mm. That is the problem today. You know, Shripad, you stay with us. I uh, request you to stay with us. I'm going to cut across to DK Shiv Kumar, Randeep Surjewala, Sidra Amaya. They're all in Delhi right now. And uh, they've announced formally that the second list is going to come out. And here's what they said in this latest presser. I said in the interview that I am also an aspirant for the Chief Minister Post. Likewise, Mr. D.K. Shukumar is also an aspirant for the Chief Minister Post. The aim of both of us is to defeat BJP and to bring back Congress Party into power. And the ground reality in Karnataka is 